All right. Canada Casino has turned into Cabinet Casino. You have $100 in chips. You've got to make a bet. Uh, first, let's start with Treasury Secretary. Trey, first to you. Uh, 50 on Scott Besson, uh, 50 on Scott uh, on Howard Lednick. So you understand the whole theory of betting, right? Like the <laughs> one. Okay. okay, that's all right. You can go 50 50. He's hedging right, his Molly, bets. go ahead. <laughs> I'm yeah, all right. I'm doing exactly the same. I think people have been talking about Scott Besant a lot, and there's, uh, for good reason, $80 on him. 20 on Howard Lutnick, who's running transition and has shown interest in this position as well. All right, Kevin. I've got 70 behind uh, Scott Besant, uh, native uh, South Carolinian like Trey in my adopted home state, and 30 behind Howard Lutnick. Okay, let's go to commerce uh, since stay in the economic space. Uh, Kevin, first to you. I'm all in on uh, I'm all in on Linda McMahon. Uh, she's uh, co-chairing wow. the transition we rarely committee. Has a great chips. relationship with the president elect. Very nice, black chip confidence, Molly. Well, I think that's a great pick, but I also want to throw out two other names: Tennessee Senator Bill Haggerty, the great businessman, former diplomat to Japan, and Andy Puzder, who was up for a cabinet slot the first time around, and a former CEO. They're both full MAGA and would be very helpful in the cabinet. Okay, Trey. I'm going to put 20 on Bob Lighthizer, even though I know he's not going to get it. I want him to be nice to me. Uh, and the rest goes to Linda <laughs> McMahon, who actually will get it. All right. All right. We, we put you at 50-50, so I'm glad you changed your bets to, to actually put, it, put some money behind it. But, um, okay, let's do winners and losers. And, Trey, we'll start with you. Winner first, then loser. Uh, winner, Ron DeSantis, because he has a bunch of brand new friends in Florida since Marco Rubio is leaving the Senate. Uh, loser is a committee I used to serve on, the House Ethics Committee, spent all that time to accomplish really nothing. All right, Molly, winner or loser? My winner are boxing fans. This fight tonight is going to be epic, and it's going to be a great show. My loser, Barbara Streisand. She's going to have to sell her mansion on the coast of California and move to another country because she promised she would do that if Trump won again. <laughs> okay, Kevin, winner or loser? Brett, my winners are four governors of West Virginia that are going to take office over the course of 10 days in that state in January. <laughs> it's kind of a bizarre situation, but they all get to be called governor for the rest of their life. Yeah, and there's my the loser, timeline there. Oh, that's right. Uh, my loser sticking with the wild and wonderful state is Baby Dog, who got denied floor entry, uh, Jim Justice's <laughs> dog, uh, on the floor of the, the uh, Senate there, uh, despite being a very good boy. All right, let me ask this. Back to our cabinet casino. If you have $100 in chips, this is an audible, what percentage of those chips are you putting down that at least one of these cabinet nominees does not make it through? Trey. Uh, can I get more than 100 of uh, <laughs> everything I have? I, I talk to senators all the time. One of them is not going to get through. Because you're confident that the head count is, is not there. The head count is not even 50-50 on one of them. One, one, one of them can't even get half the Republican senators. But I'll let you guess from our earlier discussion <laughs> who that might be. I sense, I sense where that's going with you. Okay, Molly, what about you? Well, I, can't, I don't think I can remember an administration that got all of its cabinet picks through. So I will also put all $100 on not everyone getting through. But I think there might be surprises about who gets through and who doesn't. Yeah, I, I agree. It's going to be fascinating to watch the hearings, which will start, as Senator Thune said, right after uh, the new Congress gets sworn in. All right, Kevin, you're, you're with the group here? You've got bipartisan agreement across all three of us here that $100, that at least one of them isn't going to make it. And I, I, and I suspect some will drop out before January 20th. Okay, that's a different different bet. You've got a side table bet going on that one. All right, uh, panel, thanks so much. Make it a great weekend. Uh, it's Friday. You know that sound. It's time for Notable Quotables. We are in the presence of a really mythical character. Former President Thank you very Donald, much. congratulations. President Biden and Vice President Harris had a private lunch. How awkward was that? Why would it be awkward? Do you believe federal government is knowingly concealing evidence about UAPs from the public? 
Yes, sir. 100%. Yes. Yes. This is disaster relief. We need to launch a full investigation, get people under oath. We're going to protect undocumented individuals. Either help me or get the hell out of the way, but you're not going to stop me. Matt Gates, for Attorney General. Wow. He's one of the most intelligent uh, members of Congress. And we're talking Star Wars bar level craziness. Do we expect these things to be boring? Just kind of like a God tier kind of trolling just to trigger a meltdown. We've seen people today, uh, our fellow reporters crying, hugging in the hallways. Many are probably at home crying in their milk, going to bed early, sucking on their whoopee. Would you have to do recess appointments? We're not taking any options off the table. One of the big things for me is to make um, friendships um, across the aisle. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. And things are about to get very, very serious. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Baby dog fully endorses all your cookbooks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, one week.